Okay, welcome to the C Academy TV. Today we are continuing with the another subject which is called geography, especially in the structure of the earth. Before explaining the internal structure of the earth, let us proceed with the general view of the structure of the earth. The Earth is the third planet and the only planet that supports life for the both plant and animals. The structure of the Earth can be classified into two major zones, which are outer zone of the Earth and the inner zone of the Earth. Let us look for the outer zone of the Earth. The outer zone of the Earth, it is composed of the atmosphere, the biosphere, and the hydrosphere. So, let us see for what is the atmosphere and what is the biosphere and hydrosphere. For the atmosphere, there is the thin layer of the various gases and the microorganisms such as bacteria that held to the Earth by gravitation attraction of the Earth's surface. It is composed by various elements such as sunshine, wind, and the clouds. This is about it, the atmosphere. And for hydrosphere, this is the part of the Earth's surface occupied by water bodies. So hydrosphere, most of all, it is composed by water bodies within the earth and for biosphere this is the part of the earth surface occupied by living organisms both micro and macro organisms such as the flora and the animal so when we, we talk about biosphere we talk about the part of the earth occupied by living organisms for both macro and macro organisms, such as flora and fauna. So, the basic part for today is the inner zone of the earth or internal structure or concentric zone of the earth. When we talk with the inner zone of the earth or internal structure of the earth, the Earth is composed of the three internal structure of the layer, which is the crust, for another name which is called lithosphere. Second one is the mantle, which is called mesosphere for another name. And the other name, the third one is the core, for other name is called areosphere. So let us look for the first to another. When we talk about the crust, we talk that the crust, this is the outermost layer of the inner zone of the earth. This one consists with the two things, which is soil and the sima. And within the soil, this is the upper layer, rich in silica and and minium and it is formed it is formed the upper layer of the continent and most of them are composed of granite rock so when we talk about it, the crust we talk about the two things which is called the soil and the sima for the soil we mean that the upper layer rich in silica and aluminium that have have drawn this diagram it is composed with the silica and the aluminium and the, this one it is from the upper layer of the continent and most of them it is composed with the granite rock this is a part of the soil and and the side of the sima 
Similarly, there is the layer found below the soil, composed of the silica and the magnesium. We have already drawn the diagram here. It shows the silica and the magnesium which compose to form a simmer. And uh, it is also consists of basaltic rock. It is composed with basaltic rock which are denser and underlies continental block or ocean floor to, to form an ocean floor. So when the crust it is co combined to form continental but in in simmer where it is combined to form an ocean floor. And uh, in soil it have made up with the granite rock but in in simmer it have an basaltic rock and this one this soil and the simmer have the line which is separating between simmer and the soil so the line separating soil and the simmer is called conrad discontinuity we have already shown with this this diagram there is the line between soil and the simmer which show the this line is separating between soil and simmer is called Conrad discontinuity. After already explained about this crust, let us look for the mantle. Mantle, this is the layer below the crust. It is composed of iron and magnesium. It lies between the crust and the core. Also, it is also called a mesosphere. So, the mantle, for another name, is called a mesosphere. And it is made up of the dense igneous rock. It is made up with the dense igneous rock. Mantle is denser than the crust, with the density of about 3.0 gram per centimeter. This mantle is divided into two parts, as it is shown within the diagram. It is divided into two parts, which is the upper mantle and the low mantle. Also, mantle have divided by two lines, or it have separated by two lines. So, the line separate with the crust in the mantle, it is called Mohorovic discontinuity or Moho discontinuity. So there is a line which is separating between crust and the mantle. And this line which is separating crust and the mantle is called Mohorovic or Moho discontinuity. After looking this term, between crust and mantle, let us look for the third one, which is called the core. The core is the innermost layer of the earth's surface. It is called barosphere. So, for the other name of core, it is called barosphere. The core is denser than and in the interior of the earth. This is it is divided into two parts, the outer core and the inner core. So its division is divided by two parts, the outer core and the inner core. And this one, the outer core, it have liquid in nature due to the high temperature, which has about 23,000 kilometers thick and the inner core which is in solid in nature so its nature in the core the outer cone its nature is liquid and in the inner core its nature is solid let us look for reason why it is liquid and why it is solid 
the core the outer core is liquid because it have temperature in nature and the inner core is solid because it have pressure in nature and this inner core is composed of the two types of I, it is composed of the two types of material which is nickel and iron in short this iron is called knife so the line which is separating between mantle and the core is called garden bell discontinued garden bell discontinued and let us look for the diagram which show the three part of the internal structure of the earth so the diagram which show the internal structure of the earth it will look like this one the outer layer is called crust and the middle one is called mantle and the inner part is called inner core which is divided into inner core and outer core so this diagram show for the three major part of the internal structure of the earth which is crust mantle and the core but at the crust it is shown from the this diagram with the arrow which show at the outer part of the layer and the second layer is called the mantle and the third layer is called the core which have divided into part two part which is inner core and the outer core thank you for listening and welcome again to the sea academic tv